use the stem side with this or else it doesn't work. And what you do is you take the serrated piece and you just twist until it breaks the skin and pop it out and the stem comes with it. And then when you push this all the way in, it'll seal around the edges with the seed catcher and you can pour juice from any fruit or kids can use them as straws. So I give these to my daughters, yeah, and they'll drink oranges while they watch TV or play outside. And if you use them on lemons and limes, they keep in the refrigerator for a week that way. So um, what my wife does is she does lemon water, so she'll do a little bit, she'll put it back in the refrigerator and she's good for the next time she needs it. Um, and if you do a drink station for a party or something, it helps keep everything really organized. You can pass them around like salt or pepper shakers. So, um, Like I said, uh, this is just the first item. It's gonna let Walmart know who's been here because uh, they have something extra. Um, and I forgot, there is a, a catch. You're supposed to act more excited because they're free. <laughs> Most excited, Miss. You get yours first. <laughs> um, everybody, squeeze in. Uh, ha, ha, we get it. If you do That's not have them, and we're gonna uh, hand these out and move on to the next item. So hold on to these. Um, we're gonna move on. So hold on to this. this is item number one. Can you keep one yeah. past two? Yeah. Thank you. Hold on to that one. Thank you. Can you be my helper and keep one and pass a few? Thank you. Raise your hand if you don't have one and we'll move on. This is item number one. Just remember to hold on to these because Walmart has something extra. There's one for you and the two people behind you. Hold on to that. Can you pass these back? Keep one for yourself first. <laughs> Hold on to that. Yeah, don't pass them unless you already have one and we'll move on. Can you keep one and pass three? Yes. Yeah, this is item number one, so hold on to these and stay in close. It'll just go faster. There's one for you and one for her. Hold on to that. One, two, three, four, five. There's five people right back there that need one. And I think that's got it. Oh, no, it doesn't. Sorry, sir. Yeah. Here you go. Cool. I have one. Raise your hand. All right. Guys, we got two back here. Oh, two more. My apologies. Yep, there's a lot of you, so there we go. Has everybody got one now? Oh, right. uh, one more. Okay, speak now right or here. forever hold your peace, right they say. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, thank you. Is everybody good? Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, thank you, guys. They make me do a pop quiz, so I need everybody's attention real quick because this is super important. Uh, if this is one, what comes after one? Two. Yeah. You get a second one for being quickest. So they, they make me do that, so enjoy. So the second item uh, that they brought in for you guys is the special event item that's not also in Walmart yet. It's called Easy Pro. Everybody's supposed to ooh and ah when you see it. Yeah. Whoa. Now, hold, hold on. Um, they make me point this out. The reason uh, that they brought this in as a special event item for all of you today is because they're gonna be bringing it into the store, but people don't know what it is or how to use it. Um, has anybody seen something similar to this before in the past? Yes. It's a manual food processor, and I'm supposed to show you three things that are new about it. Does everybody see the silicone rubber O-ring on the bottom? Yes. Yeah. If you have a granite or marble countertop and you put it down, it's gonna stick to it. It's not gonna go anywhere. The lid um, doesn't, it, the cutting board will move before it does. Um, the material itself is now called a kitchenware acrylic. It's a special polymer that doesn't retain color or smells from food. Oh, yes. um, and then on the inside, this is new. The blades are stacked for mixing and they're made of what's called a surgical grade stainless steel. So they never need sharpening because they don't touch cutting boards, okay? Um, and if you've never used a manual processor before, um, anything that you use a knife to process in the kitchen, you can do quicker, easier, and safer with a manual. And if you use a blender or an electric, your food will end up tasting better and be better for you technically in a manual food processor. And I'm supposed to show you how um, on three things so you know what we're talking about. Uh, first things first, what's everybody's least favorite thing to chop in the kitchen? Onions. Okay, you're supposed to say onions, yes. Um, the point of this is, is all you have to do is cut it to fit. This onion doesn't fit in there. So all we're gonna do is quarter it and throw the chunks in. Um, and another thing that people hate chopping in the kitchen, at least I do personally, um, is celery because of the strings. Yeah. Yeah. And if you have an electric, read the fine print. Most of them will tell you that you can't put celery in them because the strings can wrap around the blades and burn out the motor. Um, it'll void the warranty on most electrics, but it's fine in here. Um, and we're gonna lock on the top. And then this is what everybody screws up with uh, manuals. They mistakenly think that you try to crank the handle. That's not how manuals work. Um, this does not require strength, but you need to know how to use it. Um, so watch this. I'm going to take this handle. I'm just going to rock it. So watch right there. If you can squeeze in, watch right there. It's kind of cool. 
I'm gonna start rocking the handle. You ready? Does everybody see what that little action does? Yeah. How it breaks everything up? Oh, um, if you try to turn the handle right away, it doesn't go. That's not what they're designed to do. You're using it wrong. You just gotta rock the handle, and then when it's, it's easy to turn, we're gonna count to five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. And you've got an entire onion oh, chopped up wow. and ready to serve. Look at Everybody, that. Ew, oh, oh, wow. ready? Oh. Hey. You guys are ridiculous. <laughs> it's just an onion. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, it, but the cool thing about the manuals is that you're also in control of the processing. So if you want to go finer, the more you turn, the finer it gets. So we'll go down to a quick mince, just because I want to show you that you can go finer than you would ever really be able to go with a knife realistically, and you're not going to over-process. So when, when I squeeze you in, if you look at the bottom, the bottom's the important part. Does everybody see how there's no juice, there's no water, there's no milk from either the onion or the celery, okay? Oh, wow. If you put food into an electric and you get that juice or that water at the bottom, that's packed with nutrients and flavor, and that should be in your food, not at the bottom of the machine. They've done studies, and uh, electrics can actually affect the taste of food because when the water drops out of it, it changes the pH in your vegetables, and they become, become more bitter and astringent, so your food won't taste right. Um, and if you guys look, um, it's mixed all the way evenly throughout. There's no large strings. There's no large pieces of onion. Um, everything's even. And again, there's absolutely no liquid at the bottom here. That's okay. great. Now, the other thing I'm supposed to point out is how it mixes. Um, how many of you like coleslaw? Everybody's supposed to say yeah. yes. Yeah. Does anybody still make it by hand? Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, does anybody still it? use the old knuckle buster? <laughs> My mom calls them nail clippers. But um, <laughs> The reason they make me show you um, uh, the coleslaw is because the carrot and the cabbage are different uh, densities. They tend to weigh different amounts. So in, if you're uh, doing them in an electric, they can mix uh, improperly. So the carrot is denser than the cabbage, so sometimes you get it sinking to the bottom. Um, and you get the cabbage floating on top, but that doesn't happen in here. Um, and it's not just for coleslaw, you can put cooked meat, you can put pecans or walnuts in here if you want to do tuna salad, chicken, mm -hmm, or uh, potato salad. Um, and you can also do things you wouldn't think about that are different consistencies, like ice cream and hard candies. If you want to make your own blizzards, it can handle any um, candy bar or hard candy. Um, you can put ice in here to crush ice if you want to do um, that sort of thing for slushies. Um, you just got to make sure uh, that you lock the handle and that you rock it, okay? Once you rock with the uh, coleslaw, if you watch closely, we'll uh, go until it's easy to turn. And then I like the coleslaw really like confetti style, so I'm going to turn it for probably like seven or eight seconds instead of just five. Um, and I'm gonna get a really fine grate. And you can add the mayonnaise, the salad dressing, the vinegar, um, the salt, the pepper, oh, the sugar right in, and you have your coleslaw oh, ready to go. Oh. And you've taken a step out because you don't have to mix in the flavoring. Okay? I'll never buy it in a package again. Oh, absolutely, that's the whole point. And if you look closely, the carrot's not sinking to the bottom and the cabbage isn't floating on top. And again, there's no juice in the machine at all. All the flavor and nutrients are in the food. That is okay? Right. I like that. Um, yeah, and now I'm supposed to show you cleanup because um, people ask about this. Because this is a special polymer um, that doesn't retain smells or colors from food, you don't want to put this bowl in the dishwasher, okay. okay? But because it is a special polymer, it cleans very easily. You just have to rinse. Um, if you're using cooked meat, you want to use mild soap, but if you're just doing vegetables and fruit, watch. Just a little bit of rinse from water. Um, everything rinse is clean, and you're ready to go to the next thing. Okay? Um, oh, I got a little bit caught at the top there. Um, the next thing won't taste like onions or smell like cabbage. 
Um, and then the last thing we're supposed to do for everybody um, is Walmart's favorite part. It's called a 60 second salsa. Has anybody done salsa with a knife before yeah, at home? Yeah. Yeah. How long does it take? I mean, forever in a day. Um, we're gonna do it in <laughs> under a minute and um, we're only gonna use seven ingredients so it'll be super cheap, super healthy. Um, the first thing is uh, tomatoes. If you guys aren't using Roma tomatoes, I highly recommend you do. They have uh, more pulp and less juice and it'll make your tomatoes, or it'll make your uh, salsa taste like salsa and not like tomato sauce. Uh, so make sure you're using those. And you can pit tomatoes with the juicers too. If I can get it out, there it is. Um, the onion, this is a, 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 pet, a big pet peeve of mine. When you're doing salsa, the middle part of an onion tends to be the more bitter part because it's where the sprouts come out. So get rid of this and use the outside part. Um, yellow bell pepper. Sometimes people do green. I prefer yellow because it's more citrusy notes. Um, garlic. If you're not doing garlic in your salsa, you're doing it wrong. Um, there you go. Uh, well, cilantro and jalapeno. Uh, you guys are familiar with cilantro, right? Um, if you're using a knife uh, to process fragile herbs like this, uh, please don't because that green juice in the cutting board's flavor. You want that in the food. So you can over process with a knife. So hand pluck it or use kitchen shears. Um, and then are we feeling wild or mild today? Wild. Wild. We'll leave the, yeah, we'll leave the seeds in there. Healthy chunk. <laughs> Um, a little bit of salt and a little bit of lime juice, just like a, a good margarita. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're gonna lock on the top and rock the handle. Now, um, I'm gonna show you this for salsa, but if you want to do a big salad for somebody, if they're if you got guests coming over, or if you don't want to chop all the toppings to your salad individually, put all the carrots, onions, uh, peppers, anchovies. If you're doing a homemade uh, Caesar. Uh, if you want to do pear and gorgonzola, strawberries, whatever, put everything in there and just rock the handle. Um, and it'll mix while it gets chunky style vegetables. And then you just dump this on top of the salad and you're ready to go. So there's no prep time. Uh, you don't have to sit around and wait. Um, but we all know uh, salsa is the dip for a chip. So since you're in the front, you get to be salsa lady. Okay. okay. What Walmart wants you to do is I'm supposed to hold it flat, you're supposed to turn it clockwise, and you're supposed to tell everybody if it's easy or hard. Okay. Okay. Go right ahead. Ready? Mm-hmm. Very easy. Wonderful. Keep going. Now I'm supposed to remind you that when you do it yourself, there's no preservatives in it. And if you have a diet restriction, just don't put it in. Um, you're in control. Really easy. Thank you. And we're supposed to do a round of applause for salsa. Yay! Good job. Standing ovation. <laughs> we all believed in you. Oh, yeah. And everybody get a whiff of this, too, because it'll clear your sinuses. Awesome. Yeah. Now, I'm supposed to point out, if you want to do guacamole, just put in avocado. Really? If you want to do omelets, you can crack the eggs right in here. It'll scramble them while you chop everything. And you can pour omelets onto the griddle. Just throw the bacon right in or whatever. Um, and if you want to make sauces instead of salsas, you can do tomato sauce, tomato bisque, or tomato soup. Just put the tomatoes in hot. You can do baby food, hummus, mashed potatoes. Just put the vegetables in hot. Um, and you can puree or mash. You put that okay? in hot and with hot food? Oh, correct. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, approved for that, right? Uh, and that's it. That's the end. Um, since that's the end, uh, Walmart wants me to ask all of you, uh, the store wants to know. Now that you have seen how Easy Pro works and what it does, when Walmart does put this in the store, will you now recognize it and know what it is? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> and even if you do not read the instruction booklet, will you know how to use it? Yes. Yeah. 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 Right. Uh, now you are supposed to ask me when Walmart carries it, how much will it cost? Yeah. I thought you would never ask. Yeah. Um, it is not a permanent item yet. They brought it in today for all of you as a special event item. Uh, when it is in stores, it'll be in boxes similar to this. It won't be this exact box because this is the promotional one for you today. But it'll be white and green and it will say Easy Pro. Does everybody see that? Okay. Um, in the boxes. 
Uh, no, it'll be a housewares more than likely. I'm not 100% sure, but that's where most of the yeah. stuff that they make me do ends Website. up. As seen in the deli department at Walmart. Um, I'm also <laughs> supposed to uh, point this out. Um, the blades that come with it now have childproof locking blade covers. That's great. Um, so to get them off, because we had somebody uh, come back and ask, you have to squeeze and pull. Has everybody seen that? Um, and then to put them back on, if you're quiet, you can hear it click. And it goes right back onto that post. So if you have little fingers in the kitchen that can't injure themselves, and if you put this in a junk drawer, it's not gonna bang against other utensils or the corners of your cabinet. So again, you never need to sharpen them. Um, and then this uh, is the instruction manual. You know to rock the handle, but if you give this to somebody that doesn't, um, it tells them how to use a manual machine properly. Also on the back, there's a five-year unconditional warranty from Easy Pro, so whoa. that means. Whoa! <laughs> whoa. So you're the first person that's woed on that. <laughs> so that means they believe even, in it. even if it's your fault, Easy Pro will replace anything free of charge for five years. Okay. Wow. Get out of here. Um, now that is going to be the basic package. When you see it as an in-store item, it'll have what's called an MSRP. I'm sure everybody knows it means manufacturer suggested retail price. The MSRP for Easy Pro is going to be $59.99. Wow. Okay. Uh, worth every penny when you consider the time and the money yeah. you save, the high quality materials, and the warranty. Yeah. Now, in Walmart, they're doing something different because it's not a regular item yet. Uh, if everybody looks up here, this tends to confuse people. Um, these are called baking blades. If you drop these into the bowl instead of these, this enables you to do cake batters, pancakes, waffles, uh, whipped creams, salad dressings, nice. and meringues. And because there is a pour spout, you can pour right onto your waffle mix, uh, waffle maker or your griddle and there's no mess. You can add the blueberries or the chocolate chips right into the batter. Okay? Um, and then I'm also supposed to show you this. Um, it's called an egg white separator. There's a hole in the top if you have a recipe that calls you to add um, an ingredient late. But if you put this over top of the hole and crack an egg, the yolk stays here and the white falls in the machine. So you don't have to juggle eggshells to make egg white omelets or meringues. Um, the attachments are normally going to be optional for 3 to $5 a piece but Walmart's included them at no additional charge. Um, and then I'm also supposed to point out this. Does everybody see, yeah, uh, yeah. it's called an ergonomic peeler. Um, everybody I'm assuming has done a traditional peeler before. Mm -hmm. This one's easier on your wrist and elbow if you have arthritis or tendonitis or uh, carpal tunnel, because you push and pull. And if everybody sees the sides, these wings are for popping eyes out of potatoes, whether you're right or left-handed. So you save time and potato. Okay. Um, the peeler is typically a $9 item, but Walmart's included those in the promotional packaging too. Um, so that's the regular promotional package. Uh, as I said before, when you see them again, the MSRP is going to be 60 bucks. In Walmart, since they're not regular items though, they're doing something different. They're taking the retail price of $60, and today, before they're regular items, they are cutting it all the way down to just $39.99 today. And since it's a factory demonstration, they're not in the housewares department yet. You have to pick them up at the event, but it's still backed by Walmart 100%. So you get a receipt, they're returnable, you can do gifts if you're thinking of a gift idea. Um, we're just supposed to do them first come, first serve with the extra stuff and the lower price because that's not typically how they'll come. Okay. Uh, and I know you want one. Hold on. There's one last item. Um, does everybody have the first item that I gave you? The citrus juicer. I lost mine. You didn't? Okay, one second. I remember you. You've been videoing me the whole time. Um, Is it that obvious? You did. Yeah. Okay. Um, can everybody squeeze in just a little bit because I'm not supposed to scream and shout. The reason they make me check who has the first item is the final item that Walmart gives me. Um, they require me to do just for the people that are here. Uh, we're not allowed to do them for everybody. But how many of you know what a mandolin is for the kitchen? Yeah. Um, so Walmart's really excited about this because it's compatible with most four cup bowls. If you have a standard one quart bowl at home, it's a slicing platform. 
yeah. with inserts for French fry making yep. and grating. And the way it works is you snap it onto this bowl or you lay it over top of a standard one quart bowl. And any meat, cheese, fruit, or vegetable, oh, I forgot to get my, there it is. Any meat, cheese, fruit, or vegetable that you have, you just take it back and forth over top of the uh, blade and you get even consistent slices that look professional um, for uh, salads, for dipping vegetables, if you want to do pepperoni for pizza, you can do your own meats and cheeses for sandwiches at home. Um, everything falls into the bowl so there's no waste. Um, and if you want to go from slicing to grating, you just put the grater in for your hash browns, uh, your carrots, or your cheese. Okay. Can we do hard cheese uh, like Parmesan mm -hmm. or Reggiano? Absolutely. And then uh, the number one complaint about mandolins is they cut your fingers. Um, they have this safety handle so that's impossible to do. When you get to the end of something, you put it on these prongs, and then you can still run it back and forth across the blade. The press enables you to go all the way down to the skin, so there's no waste. Okay. Uh, the slicing platform, inserts, and the safety handle are gonna be sold separately in the future in a separate box for a separate price. Um, instead of cutting that, what Walmart requires me to do for the people that are here right now. Um, if you want to try out Easy Pro before their permanent items, uh, they've reduced the price to $39.99 and added extra attachments and a peeler. That's for anybody that wants it. But if you have been in the demonstrations and you let me know that you want to take the package home right now while Walmart has them, and they want one, you want two. Uh, the store is going to give you the entire slicing kit for free as part of that what? package as well. No <laughs> so way. Before this their regular items, Walmart gives you literally everything for $39.99. You just need to let me know right now while they have them that way. That you want to do one over there. So look up here guys, because this is what the store did and people got confused about this. Because this is promotional, you don't scan the boxes. You're not paying for the boxes. You just scan the bag and you get everything in the bag for $39.99 while they have them that way. I have to do them first come first serve. So if you want one, just let me know. I know you want one, you want two. It's all back by Walmart. Um, yeah. It's a giftable <laughs> item too. Just make sure you only scan that one barcode. That's amazing. And you get everything complete. Uh, $39.99. Well, Walmart has them specially packaged that, that way. Um, okay. Again, uh, just let me know while we have them. There's one for you, my lady. What a great um, idea. So you give, give people um, you something right off the bat. You get the slicing uh, platform with the attachments as well. Something like that for free. And, and then they um, stand around and watch this demonstration for 22 well. minutes and 42 uh, seconds. Uh, <laughs> Did I miss anybody? One, two. Okay. Now, I wonder what percentage of the people are going to leave this on the shelf. Oh, for sure, for sure. And guys, um, I know it sounds uh, dorky, but Walmart requires me to know everything about them. What a great uh, idea. So if you have a question, uh, just I'll ask. Take it. That's what I'm here to do is answer questions. Um, if you need an extra set for somebody that's having, a, oh, I don't know, a wedding or a housewarming, uh, Walmart allows you to do as many as you want for the reduced price. Uh, before they don't have one. So you can actually buy as many as you want before you go. Uh, let's no see. way. Uh, you need one and you need one. Yep. Um, and if you have a question, don't hesitate to ask. I just need to put a barcode. What are you gonna What are you gonna do with that salsa? Um, I was gonna say, can you, you put it in If you need it, it's technically a health code violation, <laughs> and uh, Walmart could get fined twenty five hundred dollars. So what if I'm not supposed to? What if anything. everybody eats it? Because <laughs> if everybody's doing it, <laughs> then I believe that they can technically find me for every person that eats it. Even the coleslaw? Yes, they do. Um, they have the recipe for the um, the salsa in there. Um, mm -hmm. And a recipe for uh, uh, potato pancakes that are really awesome here. Incredible. You can mash the potatoes before you grill them. That was a good time. Um, for me. Thank you, Kyle. We gotta put all that back and get new stuff. <laughs> all right. Our yoga's been sitting out for like 30 minutes. <laughs> Still good. Did you enjoy the show? <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs>
Yeah. Should we get some lemons and some limes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Love lemons and limes. Let's go Let's make some lemonade. Let's do it. Okay. So, see how many people put those on the shelf. Okay. Who thinks All it's right. going to be a Father's Day gift? Yeah. My it's husband's it? doing keto, so that'd be perfect. Nice. <laughs> right here. The juice is going after it. There's an extra one in the box, too. 